contributing to missionaries. That's why I thank God for New Jerusalem and uh, the, the uh, amount uh, uh, of funds that we contribute to uh, foreign missions uh, with the amount of money that we contribute to Missionary Huff, who's on the foreign mission field. And in doing so, we're doing what God has left us here to do. Uh, uh, and, and if he left us here to go into all the world, uh, you think that God is going to come back before all the world has learned and has heard that Jesus is the Christ? What kind of God? You need to be asking yourself, what kind of God would do that? That he would come back and judge the world before all the world has heard that Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, and Jesus is the life. And so I, 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 I say to you, uh, are you concerned about those people in uh, the Amazons? Are you concerned about those people in the rainforest? Are you concerned about those people in the faraway parts of the world who have not heard about Jesus? Well, uh, do you want Christ to come back before they hear about him? Uh -oh. I don't think you do. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. But you should be more rejoicing in the fact that you're already saved and less rejoicing in the fact of when Christ is going to return. Certainly, you want his uh, kingdom to be restored, but I'm simply here to remind you this morning, Saint, you already say, yes. you are already have yes. eternal life. Yes. Don't confuse your priorities. You're already saved and you only have as long to endure as your earthly existence and then go home to your reward. Yes. And while we have to wait for the redemption of our bodies, hear me now, that is only a process that will happen in God's own time, which is no indication of how long we have to wait to go home to be with the Lord. Consider the words of the Apostle Paul as I bring it to a close in Philippians chapter 1, verses 21 through 23. For to me to live is Christ, because I can tell other people about Christ. And to die is gain. To die is gain, because I know that if I die, I'm going on to be with the Lord. Right. Did he say to die and wait for the Lord to come back is gain? <laughs> he said to die is gain. Mm -hmm. To be absent from the body is to be in the presence of the Lord. And while there's a process that yet has to happen as it relates to the redemption of our body, we can uh, uh, never uh, be denied that gift of eternal life and, and to be uh, home with the Father when we leave this earthly existence. He says, but if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. I shared it with my neighbors. I shared it with my family. Shared it with. Yet what I shall choose, I know not. Apostle Paul said, Man, mm -hmm. I'm longing for heaven and earth. But there's so many people in the world don't know about Jesus. And I got this gift in this earth of vessel that I can share with them. Yes. And he goes on to say, For I am in a strait. I'm in a I'm in a difficult place between two having a desire to depart and to go be with Christ. Listen to that. To depart and go what? Be with Christ. Did he say depart and wait for Christ to come and get me? Nope. He said depart and to be with Christ, which is far better, far better than what? Far better than life in this world. Far better. And I, 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 I could go on uh, 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 a while longer with some scriptural examples of what it means to be far better. But uh, uh, we're going to bring it to close. Yes, Christ is coming back. But don't confuse his coming back with your going home to be with the Lord. Yes. It could be today. Uh, I may not live to see it another day. 
But can you say it's well with my soul? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and that that when when I have to look death in his face, can you say, oh death, where does that stay? Oh grave, where is that victory? Uh, Deacon Harris is a witness and he knows this. Therefore, he, he shared it with his father that Jesus is the way, the truth, and his life. And his father has claimed Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. And so, yeah, he's got some tears in his eyes this morning, but he's not crying because uh, he, he thinks his father is doing well. There are tears of joy. His father's out of his suffering. The cancer's all gone, and he's gone all Yes, thank you, Jesus. Lord gives us tears every now and then. Minister Gamble to wash our eyes out yeah. so we can see clearly. Amen. See how our understanding get a little fuzzy. Huh? And, and, and uh, just because we're crying sometimes, it doesn't always mean that we're sad. We have tears of joy. Yes, Lord. Uh, Sister, yes, Lord. Sister Laverne Dunbar used to love to sing that song. Uh, rivers of joy flood in my soul. Yes. I cannot explain these rivers yes. of joy when the, the, the tears roll down from my eyes like a river, yes. but they're not sad tears. Yes. They're rivers of joy. Yes. And I can tell you, you don't need to feel sorry for the burn done by this morning. Oh she called with the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't need to feel Thank sorry you. for these Jesus with them. If you love them, yes, Lord. yes, Lord. yes. Uh, uh, Christ is coming back. But don't confuse his coming back once again with your going home to be with the Lord. Truly the songwriter had this in mind when he penned that song, Was I Be Carried to the Sky? Oh, flowery beds of ease. What's he talking about? Carried to the sky and flower beds be to be saved and just sit around with your arms full mm -hmm. and say I'm not going out there uh, by ebony uh, end because uh, I mean, uh, that's too much trouble. Uh, I'm not going out to the highways and byways because uh, too much danger out there. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go to church on Sunday and I'm gonna go home. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, 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 go to church on Sunday, and 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 that that's all uh, that I'm going to do. Well, uh, uh, the, how many people in church are there uh, that you can share the gospel with? That's what the preachers do. Uh, he saved you. He saved you uh, to go into the highways and the byways. He saved you to go in Jerusalem, your home. He saved you to go into Judea and Samaria and the utmost parts of the world. Must I be carried to the sky on flowery beds of ease? While well, others fight to win the prize. Sail through bloody seas. And so ask yourself the question I'm saying. But also ask yourself the question, when I stand before God, will I be able to hear him say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up a little higher, I'll make you a ruler over me. Uh, will, will when you stand before him, you're going to feel so unworthy that you're going to wish the Lord could send you back so you could do more. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. So, so while the blood is still running warm in your veins, my sisters and brothers, uh, please do all that you can to share Jesus with those who you know do not know him as their Lord and Savior. And don't spend so much time praying for Christ to return but spend more time praying that those who are not ready for him to return uh, will get right with God. Amen. And to know that his returning 
uh, has no dependence upon how long it's going to be before you go home to be with the Lord. And life is over with in this world. I'm going home to be with the Lord. Not, not, not when Christ cracked the sky. Uh, and say the dead in Christ going to rise. Yeah. Well, that's simply to redeem your bodies. Yes. And, and, and the redemptions of the body is simply a process. But yeah, uh, 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 he's already promised us that to be absent and to join that great cloud of witnesses uh, who are now in heaven, uh, cheering us on and urging us on. Yes, Christ is coming back. But don't you spend so much time worried about when he's coming back. And more time, ye men, why stand ye gazing into the air? That's work to be done. That's souls to be saved. We need to be lifting up our voices in song and in prayer. The scriptural church, they prayed, uh, they fellowshiped together, and they continued daily in prayer and, and in doctrine and fellowshipping one with another to give them uh, the vision and the strength to go into the highways and byways, telling this dying and sinful world uh, the message that Christ left with us. Believe on the Lord Jesus and thou shalt be saved. Let's all stand. as I am. and so cruel to us that we just that this find ourselves wondering uh, does God really love us? Does God really care? Jesus. 
All we got to do is think about Calvary. Amen. Think about how they nailed him to the cross. How they pierced him in his side. He did that for you. Yeah. When you realize what he did for you, you're going to realize a little bit of trouble that you're going through. You're not worried to be compared to God giving his only begotten son. I own Calvary's cross for our sins. All our sins have been nailed to the cross. And there's nothing in this life that can happen to us that Calvary has not already made a provision for as we said in our message this morning uh, Calvary covers it all we're not waiting to be saved when we put our trust in you we claim the promise of your word that as many as believe on my darling son Jesus to them I gave them the power to become the children of God join heirs with Christ Jesus yes mm -hmm. Certainly, if I'm a joint heir with Christ Jesus after I believed on him, uh, I'm not going to die. Certainly, if I'm going to be joint heirs with Christ Jesus, uh, I've already received eternal life. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No need me getting all hung up over things in this world. The race is the Lord, the fullness thereof. Yes. Yes. The world and they that dwell therein. And so, uh, all that I need is in Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus yes. than silver or gold. Yes. I'd rather have Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for the power of your word. And your word shall not return into you, boy. We pray, Lord, that you'll give us the conviction and the power and the steadfastness to ever proclaim your word. Lord, uh, yes, we do sometimes long for heaven and home. We sometimes grow a little weary for this life, and, and this world is no friend of grace. But for us uh, to go home before you, uh, you're done with this is not, it's not our option, Father God. And so help us to run with patience this race. Hold us up on every leaning side, Father God. Help us to endure with patience whatever it is that you have in store for us. Help us to not only endure, but to live a life that so glorify you that others may see our good works. And our Father in heaven may be glorified. And they come running saying, I yield, what must I do to be saved based on the life that you live? living? That's what you want to see in us, Father God. That's what you want to hear from. Strengthen us where we are weak. Build us up, Father God, where we are going now. Bless all that's under the sound of my voice. I pray for the Birch family, Lord. Thank you. Pray for uh, Dana this morning, Lord, that you will strengthen her. Lord, you know all that you've placed on our heart and hands to do. I pray for Dion and Neil this morning, Lord, the young couple who are trying to draw closer to you, Lord, and I thank you for that service to you and the service to New Jerusalem. I thank you for Sister Wanda this morning, Lord. That you allowed her to be here in our presence and certainly our hearts rejoice because when we see her, uh, we see your glory. When we see her, we see your goodness, Father God. And we look at her and say, truly, God is good. Yeah. With all that she's been through, she sat here with a smile on her face this Hallelujah. morning. Thank you. Thank you. We know that it's only the goodness of God that is in her. We pray for our Lord, Minister White, and uh, his faithful wife this morning, Lord, for the way in which you're using them. Ask that you'll continue to bless them. Oh, Lord, we thank you for our young people that are here this morning in London and James Edwards and and Anthony, and they, 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 they've been witnessing, Lord, and telling little Hassan, come and hear about Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. We thank you for Tamara, and we thank you for Tania, Father God. Uh, we thank you for Nicola, Lord Jesus. We pray that you will bless and keep her. We thank you for Sister Dorothy, Lord. Uh, strengthen her and hold her up on every leading side. Uh, let her know that 
uh, uh, just, just, just going to be a little while, a little yeah. while. Uh, uh, that life in this world is but as a vapor yeah. that shall soon pass away. But life will be going home yeah. to be with the Lord. And there we're going to be throughout eternal ages. No more sickness, no more sorrow, no more suffering, no more crying, no more dying. Thank you once again, Lord, for Deacon Harris, Minister Campbell. Pray for the after part of our church, particularly uh, my help made sister Barbara. Have mercy upon your humble servant, Lord. Strengthen you where I'm weak. Lord, make me the pastor that you would have me to be. Forgive my shortcomings, Lord. Strengthen me where I'm weak. Build me up where I'm weak. Lord, we be careful to give your name the praise in Jesus' name. For his sake, amen. 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 body hanging up on a cross suspended in the air. Try to imagine one of those spikes being nailed through his feet and nailing them to the cross. Surely, surely he died. God, God who knew no sin, there he hung on the cross wounded for you, dying for you. There with a crown of thorns on his head. That's the only kind of crown that we thought he was worthy of. And, and mockingly said, Jesus Christ, the king of the Jews, and not knowing that truly not only was he the king of the Jews, but he was king of kings, lord of lords. Thank God we can look forward to that day when we're going to bring forth the royal diadem. Not a crown of thorns, but we're going to bring forth the royal diadem. And, and we're going to crown him. Uh, crown him, Lord of Lord. Crown him uh, with a worthy crown. There, we're going to be with, our, with the Lord throughout eternal ages. Help us, Lord, to partake of these elements that we may be reminded of what price has been paid for that privilege for us. You know, the bread which represents your broken body, the fruit of the vine which represents your shed blood. Mountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein and sinners plunged beneath that flood. Lose all their guilty stains. We bow our heads in a moment of silence asking God to be in our midst, asking God to prepare us to take of these elements. Uh, being obedient to the words of Scripture, but let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. But he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, uh, some are sick among you, and many sleep. Why? Why? There's no reason for that. For Scripture says, uh, you don't have to take it unworthily. Say, if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Blessed is the man whose sins are covered. So we're going to bow our heads in solemn prayer and say, Lord, cover my sins. Lord, forgive me that I might partake of these elements and be found worthy. And do it in Jesus' name. He said, if you ask anything in the name of his daughter, it said, Jesus. You know, and not withhold from you. Call in a uh, moment of silent prayer. We're going to ask uh, uh, Deacon Harris if he will come and ask God's blessings upon the communion table. Almost loud, we have a father. We give honor and thanksgiving. Father, we come to you with thanksgiving. Father, we ask you to touch these elements, Father. Turn them from a natural to a spiritual use, Father. Yes. Father, God, prepare us for us to take in the, the, the bread and the wine, Father God. All these 
bless me as you your daughter and son tonight. The Lord said to Jesus Christ. represents the broken body of your precious son Jesus. We break it. And he gave it to his disciples. And he can have it. <coughs> Saying this is my body, this is broken for you. And as often as you do this, this do to remember so many. Like Benny, he took the cup after the supper. 